I've published a number of white papers on the financing of energy efficiency retrofits in buildings. Um, I think that the European challenge is um, firstly one of magnitude, meaning um, I believe that we need 100, mil 100 billion uh, euros per annum to meet the targets for energy efficiency for 2020 in Europe. And of that, that needs to come from both private and public sources. I think that um, at, the, at this point there is a policy gap that's been um, recognized, there's a financing gap as you've mentioned that has been recognized and both of those have to be fixed together. I think that the European Energy uh, Directive um, will certainly, if uh, it brings in um, mandatory targets and if it brings in 3% uh, um, retrofit targets for pri uh, publicly held buildings and if private sector in initiatives and incentives are also stimulated, I think that the private sector financing component of that will uh, be s more certain of the returns, will be more understanding of the risks, and will bring the cost of private finance down and will enable, therefore, more retrofitting and a deeper nature to occur. I think it is definitely achievable to overcome, but it is not the only barrier. So finance alone will not solve this problem. I think that there has to be both the opportunity to pick up the right financing products, the, right, the financing needs to come at a low, low enough cost to make the returns interesting, and they have to be supported with educational, uh, informational, demand-driving policies, and also supply um, quality execution issues, such as uh, the teams need the quality of the execution of the retrofits needs to be obviously high. They need to meet um, specified standards so that consumers faced with the choice to retrofit their houses are confident that they're going to get the results that's printed on the packet.